my name is Dr. Sylvia Nalvega. I'm a lecturer at the Department of Nursing, and I'm also the acting head of department. Uh, here is the Nursing Skills Lab, uh, where we teach students practical skills in all aspects of nursing care before they are exposed to the clinical setting. We have acquired uh, various gadgets and equipment to facilitate the practical skills of students. And after the theory uh, sessions, uh, we bring our students here where uh, they are demonstrated to the various skills. And they do return demonstration. We also assess them to ensure that they have mastered the skills before they are allowed to go to the clinical areas. What is the pulse rate? 74. 74? Beats per minute. Yes, the oxygen saturation? Oxygen saturation is 78. 78. 78. Can somebody assess for us the chest? Can somebody assess for us the chest? Yes? Yes? Please assess for us the chest. So what are the findings? What are your findings? I'm hearing wheezes. Yes, you're hearing wheezes. The wheeze, okay. Yes, That's and good. Deep breath. And deep breath. What about the, uh, the respiratory rate? What is it? The respiratory rate seems to be high. Okay, as a nurse who is managing this patient, uh, what do you think we should do? Yes? We should nebulize this patient. Okay. So let's, with the salbitamol. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. So let's, let's nebulize this patient. Let's nebulize. Let's nebulize. Let's nebulize. Okay, can somebody connect the nebulizer to the power? Have you already finished? Pulse rate. Okay. Yes. That's 97. It. Okay. Please, let's be faster. Oxygen saturation. Okay, let's nebulize. 78. Blood pressure 130 over 60. Our temperature is 32. Let's nebulize, let's nebulize. So give the instruction to the patient. So is there any improvement in the well, SPO2? Yes, the saturation has increased. Saturation, oxygen saturation has increased to 99. Okay. So uh, uh, this is what we do here when it comes to the actual simulation and the actual teaching of uh, our student here. Uh, in the skills lab here, we do the actual real demonstration of otherwise what would happen in the hospital setting. Like you saw, this was an asthmatic patient who was brought to our unit, and we have to simulate this. So by the time these students go to the hospital, we will have practiced all this over and over here. So by the time they go to the actual patients, they already have the knowledge, they have the skills, and they have the ability to manage such patient. So the other side will be an addition, but here we do the exact ideal so that by the time they go to the hospital, they have it all at hand. Thank you so much. So we can now move through other units. Which we use in demonstration of uh, the normal heart sounds, the normal lung sounds, but also we use it to simulate the abnormal lung sounds, the abnormal heart sounds, the abnormal abdominal sounds. So we set it up and it is able to give us all those sounds, including the mamas. And uh, we use it for training our students here. So by the time the student uh, uh, goes to the hospital, is able to identify all the normal heart sounds, all the normal lung sounds, but also they are able to identify the abnormal lung sounds, the abnormal heart sounds. 
and we have it all here, including the mamas. Yes. It's coming out. So you see? So the baby's cloth, the baby is already out. Then we are able to deliver this baby. So the baby has cried. That's what this baby, my assistant. I need a cord, cord scissor. So help me with the baby's towel. Talk through. So then we can take baby, this baby and we wait. My assistant can help me. Okay. We usually give it to me. We usually use this. Uh, it should not add so much weight. We can't use this in weighing the baby. So uh, here this uh, environment is warm enough. So we put our baby in on the weighing scale. Then <laughs> so, yeah, we we'll, we'll wear the baby and then get the, the the weight. After that, we put our baby back into the the, the baby soil <laughs> and then cover the baby properly <laughs> so that he he's warm or she's warm, yes. and then. Uh, Take back the baby to the mother. So that is exactly what we do here. We demonstrate all that here. Then now we pat our mother. We allow the mother to breastfeed the baby, and we do all that here. Also, this same mannequin, you can be able to listen to how the baby breathes inside the mother, the fetal hearts. We are able to listen to that. As you can see here, we have the fetoscope. We are able to monitor our mother appropriately until the time of delivery and until the time of discharge of this mother from this unit. Yes. <laughs>